2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante, firmer and faster. A preview of the Ultra Urus reveals that engine and suspension tweaks significantly change the big Lambo's character. Lamborghini has just unveiled the Urus Performante in Pebble Beach, but you won't have to wait long to learn how it drives in nearly finished guise. We have already been behind the wheel of a prototype example of the turned-up Super Ute, at the Porsche Nardo test track in Italy earlier this year. This was a limited turn in an early build example, and we pushed it harder than most Urus owners will in the real world. But it was enough to confirm that the Performante does feel significantly different from the regular Urus, to a much greater extent than suggested by the new model's modestly improved performance numbers. A modest horsepower increase. We'll deal with those numbers first since it won't take long. The Performante uses the same twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 as the regular Urus, with output increased slightly to 657 horsepower, which translates to a satanic 666 PS. That's a 16-horsepower increase over the standard version. Peak torque of 627 pound-feet is unchanged, as it represents the upper limit of what the 8-speed automatic gearbox can tolerate. Weight has also fallen slightly, with the Performante shedding a claimed 104 pounds thanks to reduced sound deadening fitment of a carbon fiber hood, and lighter steel springs swapped in for the regular version's air suspension. But despite that weight loss regimen, the Urus Performante is still pretty porky, tipping the scales at just over 5,200 pounds. The Performante sits 0.8 inch closer to the road on its new springs, which continue to work in conjunction with adaptive dampers and a 48-volt active anti-roll system. It gets a new center differential that diverts more torque to the rear axle and the rear differential again is able to distribute that torque to each rear wheel. Carbon ceramic brakes and rear wheel steering are standard, as on the regular Urus, but all the active dynamic systems have been recalibrated to improve responses. The Performante also gains a new rally drive mode that permits drifting on low grip surfaces. The Performante on the track. The drifting came later, as our first experience was on Nardo's 4.03 mile handling circuit, the same technically challenging high-speed track where we made acquaintance with the pre-production Uracon Technica for the first time. While this was certainly a less likely environment for a large SUV than a lithe supercar, the Performante felt impressively agile considering its weight and size, and markedly more so than the standard Urus.